All right, we got some thunderstorms coming our way today, but the timing of the front's going to be preferable for Connecticut. We're going to be looking at some isolated severe weather and really just a good amount of rain later on tonight. You can see that the yellow shades of the severe weather threat, which includes the frequency of severe weather and also the possibility of some isolated tornadoes is going to be between Pennsylvania up to Vermont and that includes just a sliver of Litchfield County. So overall, we're going to see a bit more likely scenario of seeing some actual thunderstorms in Litchfield County. But what's important to note is that we're not looking at that tornado threat today in Connecticut, and it's really going to be those isolated severe wind gusts that we could potentially see this afternoon, but maybe closer to 10 p.m. or midnight when the actual front comes through. So there is a non-zero chance of picking up a shower between now and 10 p.m., but it just becomes much more likely once we get to around midnight, one o'clock, the front coming through, we see some thunderstorms and these showers overnight, which is good. We don't have an overnight tornado threat, nothing like that. These are going to be overnight showers and thunderstorms coming our way. So Hartford and field picking up that rain. Once we get to the overnight hours into 5 a.m. on Thursday, we're still picking up some rain showers in eastern Connecticut and it's a slow moving shallow front. So we're going to see plenty of showers still continuing over us. Once we get to noon on Thursday, some rumbles of thunder possible, but really once we get to tomorrow morning, that should be the end of the thunderstorms. We continue to see those on off showers throughout most of Thursday and it could take a while for the overcast to break. Uh, maybe that happens around sunset, so it could be a cloudy day and a rainy day for tomorrow as well. Here's a look at one model projection for those thunderstorms and showers and what they rack up for us. So we're seeing some half inch up to an inch in some areas. Maybe that yellow shade is closer to two inches. What's good about this is it's spread over about 12, 18 hours. So hopefully that's a scenario for us. But just keep in mind, if you get one thunderstorm and then you get another one, there's a possibility of some flash flooding, of course, right? So we want to be watching to see where those thunderstorms actually set up, uh, which is going to be possible. We could see some intense precipitation at times, maybe not even any thunder or lightning associated with some of these showers coming through. As of right now, we see those showers up there in New York and they'll be pushing their way through once we get to around 11 o'clock tonight. So anything beforehand is going to be isolated, uh, isolated showers and thunderstorms in the meantime. Temperatures right now, we're seeing 70s and 80s across the Northeast, 81 degrees in Hartford and a little toasty up there in Boston, 84 degrees, Old Saybrook, blue skies, and we're seeing that moisture increasing as well. Coming out of the Southwest, we're getting that ocean air, 71 degree dew point. That is quite high in New Haven. Otherwise, we're seeing those 60s across inland areas, 62 degree dew point in Hartford. A look at the ocean. Larry is churning category two storm. It was just downgraded recently and it's going to be pushing up towards the northeast. It will have no impact on our weather, but it will create some strong swells once we get to Friday and another group of thunderstorms that has a small chance of becoming a cyclone before making uh, its push on shore. But nonetheless, some heavy rain coming to the southeast, which, um, you know, basically anyone east of the Mississippi it just doesn't need any more rain, but uh, unfortunately, that's what we're seeing in some of these areas. Here's a look at those wind speeds coming out of the south. Pretty steady, about 10 to 20 mile per hour winds coming out of uh, across Connecticut. Here's a look at your forecast. 82 degrees for today, 78 on Thursday. It's going to be perfect on Friday and Saturday. Low two points, plenty of sunshine. And Sunday, we're going to start seeing the increase in humidity, increase in those rain chances. And once we get to Monday, it looks like those rain chances should get a little bit better. So it may pan out that we have a completely dry weekend, but Saturday, I can tell you, is going to be an absolute home run with those 70s and no chance of rain.